The half-billion-dollar Kepler telescope is four years into its mission to find potential life-sustaining planets. Analyzing data from the distant Cygnus star field, the Kepler team spots what appears to be a very promising planet. We have this new batch of data down from the spacecraft. We're all analyzing the data, and Tom Barclay runs around to everybody's offices and says, have you seen this planet? And it's the one, it's the one we've been looking for. It's an Earth-sized thing in the habitable zone of its star. And everybody was extremely excited. The new planet is almost the same size as Earth. It's also the right distance from its star in what scientists call the Goldilocks zone. We call it the Goldilocks zone because it's not too hot and it's not too cold. It's just right for liquid water to be on the surface. For planetary scientist Sarah Seeger, finding Kepler-186f is a dream come true. Kepler-186f was the first example of a planet that's about Earth's size that's in its star's habitable zone. And so it was a cause for celebration. But for all the similarities between Kepler-186 and Earth, there is one crucial difference. Kepler-186 is more like an Earth cousin, but it's orbiting a very different star from the Sun. The star that Kepler-186 is orbiting is an M dwarf, uh, so it's only about half the size of the Sun. It's smaller, it's redder, it's cooler. The readings give rise to speculation among scientists that the planet could have an Earth-like atmosphere and raises the question of what life on this strange world might be like. The light from the star is quite red, so the oceans will look quite orange. The vegetation might do very well on Kepler-186f because there's so much more light in the infrared. A world with orange seas and strange yellow vegetation could even offer a viable environment for more complex life forms. I would love to imagine that Kepler-186f has a dense atmosphere that actually is equivalent to the density of water. And you can imagine creatures that can move easily between water and air, just like we have amphibians. The planet's combination of location and composition make it our best hope for discovering other sentient life forms in the universe. What's the best other world that we found that might house intelligent beings? beings as clever as we are, more so, uh, probably Kepler-186f is that, simply because it's the closest analog we found to Earth. Kepler-186f is likely older than our star, and our Earth, and our civilization, which means they could be more advanced than us, if they're there. But if there is intelligent life on Kepler-186f, we may have to wait a long time for a close encounter.